Well, five new sculptures have been added to the Bemidji State University campus. Lakeland News reporter Sherelle Moore tells us how you can find a little piece of Minnesota in the artwork. <laughs> Did it. Yeah. it was a beautiful day on the BSU campus last Friday. Five new sculptures were finally revealed to the eager public. The project is called Northscape. It's always special when you have the opportunity to really portray some of the great artwork um, that exists in the state of Minnesota and um, to really showcase our institution. My hope is that, when, is that people will see a piece and just be intrigued and come in and just get a feeling of kind of northern Minnesota just being up here in Bemidji. BSU went searching for artists to add a little beauty to their newly renovated Memorial Hall building, which was unveiled in 2016. John submitted his work to the committee and wound up getting the job. The pieces are made of steel and aircraft aluminum and are inspired by things you'd find around northern Minnesota. One is inspired by birds over water. One is inspired by carins or rock stacks for wayfinding while hiking. And then another is inspired by monarch butterflies. Uh, another is inspired by a moose, and then the final one is inspired by, by fish. And as the sun moves across the sky or as you walk, they catch different reflections, so it's, the sculpture is always changing as you, as you look at it. John says he had a lot of late nights and early mornings, but with a little help, he was able to get all five pieces done in about four months. His advice to aspiring artists is never give up, but also take a few business classes. Minor in business, take community ed classes in business, because being an artist is being a small business owner. It really is a joy to have an artist who comes in and really captures the spirit of the region and spirit of the institution, and I think John has done that very well. Reporting in Bemidji, Sherelle Moore, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.